Hello students, welcome to your channel Parivartan Physics. In this video, we'll quickly see how to remove the parallax in convex mirror, uh, sorry, convex lens experiment, right? So we are going to remove the parallax in convex lens here. See, first, uh, very first thing what you have to do is, see the complete practical video is already uploaded in the uh, channel. You can check the playlist, you will get that video. So you will see the complete procedure step by step from top to bottom up in the result you will get, to, you will get the practical video. So you can go through that video right now. Right. Okay. Let us begin this now. See, uh, first I will show you uh, the object pin which is kept on that side of the lens. It will be visible inverted in the lens. You can find the inverted image in the lens there. So I will just make it clear for you. So the inverted image is clearly visible in the lens now. Right. So this is how the inverted image will be visible in the lens. See, very first thing what you have to do is you should hold your eye in such a way that the tip of the inverted image, the tip of the inverted image should be visible at the center of the lens. Lens is the center of the tip. adjustment You should hold your eye in such a way that the tip of the inverted image, inverted image should be at the center of the lens. Like this, you have to hold it. Okay. After that, what we have to do? After that, uh, see, uh, here in front of your eye only, there will be, you can see here, there is an image pin. This is the image pin, right? So what you have to do, you should coincide this tip of this image pin with the tip of the inverted image, right? So inverted image tip is here and the tip of the image pin is here. So there is a vertical gap in between them. So to fill up this vertical gap, what you do? You raise the height of this image pin, right? You raise the height of the image pin and then make them coincide at the center of the lens. Okay. I will just show you that now clearly. See. Uh, they are at the same height now, but the tips are not at the center. So you should make the tips coincide at the center of the lens. Don't move your eye, hold your eye in the same position. And what you have to do is you should rotate this knob to move it horizontally. You should rotate this knob to move this horizontally. So this pin will move horizontally left and right by rotating this knob, by rotating this knob. Okay. I will show you that now. See, okay. There is a horizontal gap in between both the tips. So I'm rotating the knob now. You can see that the tip of the image pin is moving close to that inverted image tip, right? So I'm moving it to the right side now. Okay. So like this, the tips should get coincided. Okay. So the tips are getting coincided now. Okay. Well, so see that the tips will coincide at the center of the lens. Okay. Like this, we have to make them coincide at the center of the lens. now. Okay, there is a vertical gap, uh, there is a slight horizontal distance in between them still. So I will make it adjusted right now. Okay, you can see there is a horizontal movement by using the knob, right? Okay, like this, the tips should coincide at the center of the lens. Okay, see there is a little bit of vertical gap in between both the tips. I will make it completely coincided now by raising the height of the image pin. Well, so this is the first thing what you have to do. Very first thing is both the tips, I mean the tip of the inverted image and the tip of the image pin both should coincide at the center of the lens, right? After coinciding both the tips at the center of the lens, very next thing what you have to do is you should check whether they are coincided up till the edge of the lens or no. Now what you do, you move your eye to the right side, the tips will move to the left side and you can observe that they are getting separated. Right? It means there is a parallax still present. There is a horizontal gap in between them. Right? Okay. So like this, the parallax is present. See, on both the edges of the lens, there is the gap forming in between the tips. So to clear this gap, what you have to do is you should move this image pin either front or back, looking whether they are moving close or they are moving far. See, I'm moving the pin forward now. The gap in between them is increasing. So I'll take it backward now. So as I'm taking it backwards, the tips are moving close to each other and here the tips are getting coincided, right? You can just check now, the tips are getting coincided, right? Okay, so we'll just rise a little bit again. Okay, the tips have got coincided at the left edge of the lens. Okay, tips are coincided at the left edge of the lens. At the center of the lens, again you check, there is a slight difference. So by using the knob, you can again make the adjustment. By using the knob, you can again make the adjustment. They will again coincide, right? Okay, now again move your eye to the right side. There is a small gap by moving this front or back, you can again fill it up. Okay, again the tips are coinciding now. 
at the center they are coinciding at the left edge they are coinciding right so like this they should coincide at the both the edges of the lens as well as at the center of the lens so like this if they coincide then it means that the parallax has been removed right so like this the parallax has to be removed first at the center at the edges of the lens okay now you can check they are moving without getting separated the tips are moving without getting separated clear okay like this it has to move okay so finally this is how we remove the parallax clear okay so that's all about how to remove the parallax in the convex lens right okay dear students if you like the content of this channel please don't forget to subscribe the channel share the video share the channel with your friends thank you so much keep watching and keep supporting the channel